Welcome to Basic Algebra video number four. I'm teaching you the language of algebra, which is very, very important if you want to deepen your understanding of what you can do and what you can't do when you manipulate all these symbols. Now, the name of this lesson is, we're adding powers to multiply. That kind of sounds a bit weird. You're adding to multiply, but you'll see what I mean here. So for example, if I'm going to multiply two to the power of three, by two to the power of two. Another way of saying it is two cubed by two squared. Well, what does two to the power of three mean? It means multiply two by itself three times, and then multiply that by two squared. It means two by two. And what do you end up with? You end up with two multiplied by itself five times. You end up with two to the power of five. So basically, if I'm multiplying two numbers with the same base, and that's important, they have to have the same base, then all I have to do is to add the powers. Because if you add three and two, you get five. Look at this next, next example here. I can't apply my rule here because, you've already seen it, the base is different. That's three squared, three by three. That's two to the power of four, two by two by two by two. Well, you can't apply your rule there because the base is different. What happens if we go to a bit of algebra? No big deal. You've got x squared by x cubed. Remember, don't mix up the multiplication sign with the x. That's equal to x to the power of, add the powers, 2 plus 3, so you get x to the power of 5. And of course, if I've got x squared multiplied by, I don't have to put in the multiplication sign if I don't want to, x squared by y cubed, I can't add the powers. Why? You know, because the base is different. One base is x, the other base is y. In general, this is my rule. And you'll see this rule in your table book. If I've got a to the power of p multiplied by a to the power of q, well, I have the same base, don't I? Called a. a stands for any number. p stands for any number. q stands for any number. What is my answer there? My answer is a to the power of, add the powers together, p plus q. So if we want to multiply numbers, we add the powers.